Let us understand how to find domain and range of quadratic functions. We have two examples for you here. The first one is y equals to minus 2 times x minus 3 whole square plus 1. So that is a parabola given in vertex form. And then we have y equals to x minus 1 times 6 minus 2x. So this quadratic equation is in the factored form. So we'll analyze both and then find domain and range for these functions. Well, one way is we can sketch the graph of the function and then it becomes kind of easy for us to find domain and range. Now for a quadratic function we know domain is all real numbers but range is restricted. So we'll figure out what the range should be. Now the very first one is y equals to minus 2 x minus 3 whole square plus 1. So this parabola opens downwards because of this minus. It has been translated 3 units to the right, right and 1 unit up. So let's try to sketch this parabola. So it says it opens downwards right and the vertex is at 3 and 1. So let us say this is 3 and let us say this part is 1 and it will open downwards so somewhere it will cross the y-axis now since we are really interested in the range of it we kind of now know it that the range is less than equal to 1 since it's opening downwards and the domain is all real numbers correct okay? so that is how you can quickly get an idea about domain range for this function if you really need to sketch it, what you can do is you can find the y-intercept placing x equals to 0. That is to say it will be minus 2 times 9 which is minus 18 plus 1 is minus 17. So the idea is you can just sketch it 3 and 1. So we'll sketch like this opening downwards right and this point can be marked as minus 17 right. 0 means minus 3 squared, 9 times 2 is 18, minus, and plus 1 is minus 17. And that point is kind of very important for us. And this point is the vertex from where the parabola opens downwards. So this point is at 3 and 1. Now from here, we can write domain and range for the quadratic function. Domain is set of all real numbers, so we say, it is x belongs to real numbers and range is restricted for a parabola. In this case, since it opens downwards, the y value is less than equal to 1. Right? So that's the way to do it. Now let's look into the second equation. There we have parabola in the form of factored form. Correct? So we know the x-intercepts. We can rewrite this equation. So equation can be written as, it's kind of important, 6 minus 2x. Let us factor minus 2 out. So that is a critical thing here. So we'll factor minus 2 out and so we'll get x minus 3. 6 divided by minus 2 is minus 3. So times x minus 1, correct? Now here we know that the x-intercepts are at 3 and at 1, right? And the parabola opens again downwards. So we can just draw a parabola here opening downwards, right? And we know these points are at 1 and 3. So I'm drawing this sketch just to find the domain and range. We know domain, we can write this, is x belongs to real numbers, right? Now for range, we have to find the vertex, which we can find from axis of symmetry. Now that should be between halfway between the two x-intercepts. So that we can get by adding 1 and 3 and dividing by 2. That is to say that we can do 1 plus 3 divided by 2, which gives us 4 divided by 2 as 2. So the x value is 2. Now what is y value? We can place this value 2 in the equation and find the y value. So if we do, we get minus 2 times 2 minus 3 times 2 minus 1. 
Now that is minus 2 times 2 minus 3 is minus 1 and 2 minus 1 is 1. So it gives you plus 2. This value is 2, right? So, so the point here is 2 comma 2, okay? Therefore, we can write down that the range is y belongs to real numbers so that y is less than equals to 2. Right? So I hope you understand the technique. The idea is to find vertex and then direction of opening. So we need to find two things for any parabola. That is vertex and second is direction. It opens. And you know domain is all real numbers so that's not a critical thing here right so for a parabola domain is all real numbers but the range is restricted which really depends on the vertex and the direction of opening i hope that helps thank you and all the best